All right, welcome back now. It's time for us to switch up the conversation and talk with a legend. Even though I know she doesn't like to take that title, uh, but she definitely is a pioneer by so many standards and levels. Uh, Where MC is here with me. I'm sure you know who that is. How are you doing? I'm good. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Same, same. Good where, afternoon. Where did you go? Happy New Year's. What happened? <laughs> Happy New Year's. I'm just... Where, where have you been? I've been hibernating, in a manner of speaking. You know, um, I just wanted to take that time off. And um, it also sort of, like, took me to, to another realm as well. Yeah. You, know, you left the country? Yeah, I left the country. Okay. I think I wanted some... When was this? This is, like, it's almost, like, four years now. Yeah. I just wanted some sanity. I wanted. I just wanted to just chill for a while, um, kick back, um, figure out what's next. Where do I go from here? Um, I, I had a very very good run, but I wanted to now take it a notch further. But I was still like um, undecided. Where exactly do I go yeah. from here? You know, I wanted to like um, do much more. I was like, was diversify. Yeah. You know, not just get limited. I've always said that I'm someone that you cannot put in a box. You know, anything can happen. I, didn't, I, I, I liken my brand to a box of chocolates, to a coat of many colors. Um, you never know what to expect, what to expect. Yeah. So I just wanted that time off. And I think it's, it's time to yeah. come out. Because I was like, oh, is she cocoon? bored with music? Is this, like, <laughs> this is not fun. Because it never, happens to people yeah, where you yes. love something so much, you've done, you feel like you've done everything, there's really no challenges left. Mm. So I thought that was one, one of the reasons. I also mm. thought, okay, are there too many artists? And she's wondering, hmm, how do I fit in now to this space? Did no. that ever cross your mind? No. Because industry is so different from when you started. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. You would always, Ibuka is Ibuka, Ashola, where MC is where yeah. MC. You would always stand out, no matter what. You always stand out. You have your, your giftings are unique to you. Do you understand? And there was a personal thing as well. You know, as you know, no more passed. Yeah. And that hit me really, really hard. So I think I was at a very, very dark place as well in my life. Yeah. I just wanted that time off, you know, just to chill. And um, I found Jesus as well. Oh, great. <laughs> my faith, you know. So, but I, I think that I'm, a point, I'm at a point now where I know that, okay, it's time. It's time to come out of hibernation. I, yeah. can, I can feel it. You can sense it. It's called discernment. You can feel it. I came home. I've been home for like two, three weeks, and I know what the streets are saying from feedback, you know, feedback on the streets, feedback on Instagram. And it's amazing that this is such a brilliant time because this forces you now to really go within because times have changed. Completely. Now with COVID, <laughs> everything, you know, you can't just go out there anymore to, to, to say you want to do events, you want to do a concert. So it, it's, it's just amazing. Like, I have, I have this experimental appearance on the 28th of January. We're doing this um, loud and proud event called Femme Fatale with other female artists. So I want to see how that goes. You know, but yeah. I think that's the future. I've always said to people, that's the future. It's 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 automation. It's technology. Yeah. We have um, to embrace it. This is a time that gives you that opportunity. This is when you would really know, you know, who is the real, you know, creator or not. But I love it because it forces you to be creative. It, it challenges you. It it you just have to reach within, and yeah. and come with the goods. So I mean, you came back. Are you back? To music. I like that word. Because, I mean, back? you said you're, you're back you're around <laughs> two weeks and, you know, you were hibernating. Mm -hmm. Are you just mm -hmm. back to visit? Are you back to do music? You also say you found Jesus. Are you back to do gospel music? Are you still rapping? What, is, what does back mean? I'm, I'm an artist. And, and in the same vein, I'm, I will, I'm now a minister of the word as well. No matter what I do now, the heart of the Father, the heart of Jesus will always be present in what I do. Yeah. But that does not stop me from being who I am. When I hit that stage or hit wherever you put me on, you will still see that good old, you know, dish of that word MC, mad energy. Yeah. Know, that gifting will Whatever always be there. Is. Do you understand? That doesn't stop me, you know, being who I am. And something that I've been dabbling in recently as well is I no longer want to limit myself to music alone. I'm experimenting with other things. And it's really funny, my first love has always been movies. So, oh, wow. I'm, you know, I'm writing scripts, I'm doing stuff. I appeared in, um, in a short movie in, um, in, in England last year, um, something that they put together for, and it, it was like an intellectual project, you know. And I'm talking to a few brands right now as well. Um, 
um, by the special grace of God, there's equity in that name, you know, we at MC. And like I said, I'm prepared. I'm just pushing forward. I'm okay. pushing forward. I I'm want to in engage this, with people. I'm interested in this, you know, calling you're talking about. Mm. Are you a pastor? Are you? Mm. Oh, no, no, no. What no. does this calling mean? <laughs> Not a pastor. We all have a calling in our lives. Okay. You know, we... Um, you're doing what you're doing right now, but it's leading you to a place of purpose. Okay. You might not, you might not pick up on it right now. We might not pick up, we might not pick up on it at a point, at a, at a particular point in time. But with time, it it just unravels itself. You will know. Hmm, okay, there's more to this. It's not just about me being on TV, or this. It's not just about me going on What's stage or doing music or writing songs or being in the movies. There's yeah. much more to it now. I mostly put on associate hip hop with this calling. Mm. Per se, when you're talking about church mm. and Jesus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so how does that how's that going to work for you? Thank you very much. Hip hop is um is a culture. Hip hop yes. is um is an art form. Somebody who is filled with the spirit of God is now spitting lyrics, but with a divine influence. Mm -hmm. So hip hop now becomes a platform to draw in the souls. It it's it, music is a gift from God, anyways. We you know we're talking right now. Talking relationship is a gift from God anyways. Do you understand? It would always, these things are things that, you know, exist within our space yeah. every time. It's just the way you look at it. Fair enough. It's a tool. Yeah. Music is a tool. Whatever we're given, they're tools. Yeah. When did you get into the industry? Ah, oh, man, it's been, it's been forever. 90... My, my very first um, B-side single, uh, Wanna Make You Jack, was we dropped in 1991. Yeah. 1991, Island Avenue, 95, 97, Ijoya, Reno. That's a long time. We're talking 27, 28, 29 years. So I've had the blessing to span over years, decades. Yeah. Yes. I mean, at the time, people would like to say, oh, music was purer back then. Now there's a lot more money in it, you know. What's your thoughts on where we are now musically as an industry? I think there are people who are putting out pure music as well. I love I loved what Timmy Dakolo does. Dekone Gold, Simi, mature music. The lyrics are clean. They're, 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 um, they're air friendly, um, children friendly. Of course, we have you know, stuff as well that's on the other side of the divide. That's not to say that, that's not to say that those kind of artists and what they do is not yeah. good. But... Um, and what I love, we, we've just, we've just, um, we, we've taken soundscapes and we experiment more now. I always told people that there was something very, very special about Bonner Boy. I always told people, it was like, we're seeing this thing. I said, watch, watch this space. This guy is going to shock everybody. And that's what's happening right now. You can see the evolution of um, Whiskey. You can see what's happening to David O. See me, Tiwa Savage. It's, it's, for me, it's just awesome, yeah. you know, to look at. And yeah. there's so much more that I truly believe that's going to happen in this year, 2021. Yeah. Do you understand? I mean, you turned 50 recently? I don't know. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> Is it a lie? I saw it. <laughs> so was it wrong? I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been honest, be serious. <laughs> I saw it. My point is, okay, I mean, you've been in the industry this long. Yeah. There's, the industry, especially in Nigeria, is mm. associated with a lot of energy. Mm, mm. You know, you have, we say this bangam dim dim, you know, all of this music that, you know, Afro beats or whatever Afro it, it's called. Mm. Do you worry about age being a factor? with you coming back to an industry that is sort of high tempo these days? I think that your gifting is your gifting. Yeah. You're not supposed to be worried about. You have what you have. The Yorubas, there's, there's something that people say in my Yoruba language. You know, you have what you have, you have what you have. And yeah. there's space for everyone. You do you, I do me. Yep. Sincerely. And we even collaborate. So we complement one another. For me, I've always said it, age is a number. Just focus on your craft. Yeah. Get better. You know, dig down deep inside. You know, experiment, innovate. You know, do some other things. I'm, I'm working on a book. I want to tell my story. People have been saying to me, oh, you've got to do a book. You know, you've had an amazing, you know, journey so far. We would like to read, you know, how did you get from point A to point B? What were your challenges? What are your wins? Mm -hmm. You know, how did you overcome, you know, s stuff like that? So... Just keep, just keep digging into the kitty and you remain, you remain. And there's one thing that's really, really important for me as well. Just be, um, be as authentic as you can be. People will always be drawn to who you are. You do not need to, you don't, you do not need to try and fit in. You, you, you created like, like that lane, that path. 
So people will always be drawn to you. Yeah. That's how I see it. Do you think you get enough credit for, and I know you're a very modest and humble person, but I, only, I want you to answer this with all sense of honesty. Mm -hmm. Do you think you get enough credit for pioneering? You know, I mean, you, when, like you've said here even, you don't, you don't get put in a box. We're seeing women doing what you do now. Yeah. There's Tenny, for example. Yeah. Oh, people who are I expressing themselves, yes. not caring to conform. Yes, yes. Do you think you get enough credit for that, for mm. starting that sort of leading the way and opening that door for people? I don't. Yeah. I don't. But that season, I, I just believe that season will come. Just, just keep doing what you do. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do what you do because you want someone to say this or say that about you. Yeah. Just, keep doing, just keep doing what you do. And there are, people that, there are people that walk up to me on the streets and show me that love. Do you understand? But everything is with time. Yeah. Were you, were you, was it hard to do that back when you were doing oh, it? Oh, very hard, Ebuka. Extremely. Oh, like what my goodness. What sort of goodness. things did you encounter? Just... Oh, my goodness. Oh, sit down there, be in the background. Because we're used to, you know, you being familiar in the business and just being a background vocalist and blah, blah, blah. And it was different. I, here I am, all shaving, no hair. This girl is with her Timberland boots, you know, <laughs> Alan Avenue. Rapping. Rapping, sitting on top of the bottom of a car, you know, outside the box kind of girl, mad energy on stage. It drove people crazy, and yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I, honestly, I, it was actually fun for me. Yeah. And, but I had already made up my mind, I was not going to be denied. Yeah. So Alan Avenue, want to make you jack, then boom, Ijoya. So yeah. people had no choice. So you said you're going to be doing other things besides music. Yeah. Acting, you said? Acting, I'm writing a script. I'm not gonna give I'm not gonna <laughs> give too much away. Um, and I and I'm like investing in, in other things as well. Yeah. And I'm I sincerely, sincerely want to like put someone out there, maybe maybe a group, you know, a okay. couple of artists as well and stuff like that. And I've always been somebody who really, really likes to work in the background as well. I've always paid attention to, you know, to the business side of things, to the music business itself. It's not just about me going out there to perform. I've always kept an eye, you know, stuff that yeah. goes on behind the scenes, you know, publishing, stuff like that. I would love to have, you know, seminars, one-on-one -on -one sessions with upcoming artists, you know, show them the ropes, talk to them. This is what you do. This is how you do, you know, royalties and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yes. But you're still going to be singing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm a performer, you know, true yeah. and true, honestly. So, you know, I ask that because you've, you've, money is always a conversation when yeah. you're talking about mm, music mm, in Nigeria, mm. anywhere in the world anyways. But of in course. Nigeria, you know, the money conversation always comes up. And, you know, we've seen a lot of artists here especially from your generation, mm. who at some point move away. Yeah. I mean, there's conversations about, you know, finding people as Uber drivers in the U.S. or people who were big-time stars here, you know, they mm. move abroad and just mm. start in 9 to 5 or whatever it mm. is. And you wonder, these people were hit makers. What happened to royalties? All of those conversations. People probably thought that was what was going on with you, but it's nice to see that, no, you just took some time off and you're back again. You know, this royalties conversation of making money and earning a good living you know, as a creative, as an artist, how do we crack it? What do we do to, you know, have a more sustainable conversation around that? I feel like we all have to, like, have a major sit down. I had this conversation with Ubi Franklin, you know, yeah. a couple of months ago. Um, we've gotten to that point where we have to just monetize everything we do. And then we also start, not, apart from that, we also have to educate people. Some people might think, oh, why should I give you a royalty because I'm playing your music maybe at my bar or my club, this is why. This is what we do for a living. Yeah. A royalty will not be a bad thing to do, you know. You've got all these T-shirts, you've got my face on your T-shirts, and you're selling those T-shirts on the streets. Oh, you don't go buy T-shirt, wear MC, enjoy yeah. You've got my face on it. That's my face. I'm entitled to a percentage of that. If you say is why, we can have a conversation. Do you understand? I feel like it starts with educating. Yeah. You have to educate first. Some people don't understand why they have to pay for certain things. Draw them close. Have a conversation with them. This is a business. I cannot just waltz into your maybe your your practice and expect that you you treat me for free, for free. You're a doctor. Yeah. You expect me to give you, to give you some money for taking care of me. It's the same with me. This is what I do for a living. Yeah. I go on that stage. I perform. I expect I expect my synchronization fees, not just my performance fee. Because you're going to go and use that performance in, you know, someplace else at some point in time. You're going to use it again on TV. You're probably going to merge it with a, with a brand. You've collected you know, money. I'm a talent to a percentage of that money. So I really, really feel that it starts with educating people. 
Yeah. That is so, so, so important. We need to start having these conversations. It's very important because, I mean, like the conversation I had just before you came on in the earlier segment, you know, talking about record labels and, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, business executives, these are the kinds of conversations that should be had. Yes. We've had a downtime now for a lot of creatives for yeah. about a year now. Yeah, yeah. If things like this existed where there was a buffer to say, okay, mm. I can still sort of live a comfortable life while waiting for you know, life to sort of resume. You yeah. know, these are the kind of things that, yeah. you know, and structure, we've talked about structure forever with entertainment here. Yes. And I wonder when, when, when it's ever going to start. I believe that it will change because the mindset of people who are now coming into the business, yeah. they have a very, very different mindset, you know, fresh people. I was, I was quite surprised with the lady that you were talking to just yeah. before I came on. So I feel like a new set of hands are starting to come into the business. It was really, really cool to see what God and Tom, you know, is doing right now. Yeah. Ubi's doing something. Uh, this guy's still out there grinding. Um, Ife, you know, Ife has always been that. He's, he's always been someone who's like really advocated yeah. for that change yes. in the industry. And by the special grace of God, I will be actively involved as well. Yeah. I, I, I even feel like it's better right now. I feel like this generation, they just... They're just having a ball, man. They're having a ball, <laughs> you know, in comparison to what yeah, we had what to, you guys went through. What we had to put up with. So yeah. but the future, in my opinion, is really, really bright. Yeah. Who are That's you really excited about in the industry now? Ah, it's Tenio. <laughs> I love Tenio so much. She is really, she is, she really, is interesting. I honestly I love Tenio so much. And, and it's really, really funny. I love her sister as well. Yeah. I like Nidiola as well. Her sister. It would be nice to see you. Would you guys do something together? You and Tenny? It'll be mad. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. And um, Funky Akidele, I've loved her from day one. Okay. You know, she's someone that I still, you know. Um, yeah. So many, I, I just feel like there's so much, there's so yeah. much, so much happening right now. I can't believe that right now, Nigerian artists are not signing LPD deals, yeah. with Universal Music, Sony Music, things like that. You're seeing Burnout, the Grammys, yeah, you know, it's so amazing. It's things that, you know, Grammys are suddenly becoming a here. part of conversation. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Awesome stuff. You said Femme Fatale, when's that? Oh, uh, that's up? on the 20th of January. 28th of January. It's yes. going to be online, I believe. It's going to be online. Okay. So I'm going to put a lot of stuff out okay. there, Instagram, the whole works. So. Anything else we need to look forward to? Coming soon? Singles, movie. albums, movie? Yeah, singles, yes. Okay. A single, definitely. Okay. The movie, you said a short story? We're writing. Okay, you're writing. Yeah, but it's going to come out this year. We're writing, by God's grace. Is that an album this year? Or uh, still possibly a single this year. <laughs> possibly a single this year. And um, I, I was hanging out with Mama one day, uh, Jocke Jacobs. Yeah. And she was just, you know, giving me words, you know, what to do and so on and so forth. So, yeah. fingers crossed. So, looking forward to all of that. But just before, I mean, you know you've made a hit, mm -hmm. or you are, when I called you a legend, I wasn't joking, when you have a, so, a <laughs> song that's years or sometimes decades old and it's still an anthem for people. Which Allen one? Avenue. Allen Avenue. Oh. Ijoya comes on at parties and people are still going crazy. What's your favorite song you've ever done? Before we go. <laughs> What's my favorite song? You've ever done. I've ever done? Yeah. My goodness. It has to be, it's a song called Passion and Pain. Oh, okay. Passion and Pain, but... I think Idria, there's just something, and it's really funny, Ebuka, I don't see Idria as a song. Yeah. I've always said that Idria is just a gift, a gift from God. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Do you know sometimes I go on Twitter and I notice that that song gets played every day? Yeah. Every Still. day. Still. Radio Still. stations. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't That's know what I say. I mean, you, you go to parties and it comes on and yeah, some people go children, crazy. mothers, everybody goes crazy. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looking Thank forward you. to all the great things that you'll be doing in 2021. And looking at hanging out with you. <laughs> Please, let's do that. And you'll be careless <laughs> of all your suits and your ah, old girl. <laughs> Watch out for wearing them. See, she's back. Yes. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you for having me. We'll take another me. quick break and come back. Please don't go away. <laughs>